Well, tonight, your help is needed to save a 124-year-old staple in a small central Texas town. Elk, Texas is about 15 miles from Waco. The town's general store was once the heart and soul of the community. And although it's been closed for quite some time, there's hope for it to be restored. If these walls could talk, the stories they will tell. News when he took the gun away from the um, assailant and then took his boot, and that's how they, the sheriff's department caught the assailant. He was asleep, and uh, he had one boot in the bedroom, and he didn't know where the other boot was, and the sheriff's had the other boot. From robberies, talk about farming season, and even small town gossip, the general store in Elk, Texas, was once the heart and soul of the town. It's been here for well over 100 years. Um, you know, after 1986, it was abandoned. But people still have memories. They tell their kids and grandkids stories about the store. Michael Dulock's father used to own the Elk store. Many people in Central Texas have fond memories here, but not much is left of it. There's a no trespassing sign out front, an aging wagon wheel sitting on the front porch, and structure so bad it's unsafe to be around. I've always been able to see the diamond in the rough. And to me, that's what this store is, is a, you know, it has many years of history. There, there are phenomenal stories. Lance Holtum is now the owner of the Elk Store. He started a GoFundMe account seeking help from the community to restore it. For the past eight years, I've, I have funded and have done all the labor required to keep the storefront uh, standing for the community. So um, at the moment, it has exceeded my financial financial abilities to continue to do so. Holtum says many people have reached out to him and would like for the store to be saved, at least enough for photo opportunities. Because it's, it's a staple of the community, people love the nostalgia of it, uh, you know, its age and, and what it represents uh, as, you know, community coming together. It was a meeting point for the longest. Holtum says a committee is being formed to manage funds and for the reconstruction of the store. Both he and Dulox hopes this will help bring this historic beauty back to today's world. Just to realize this was a part of history that every little town at one time or another had a general store and a cotton gin. And this was probably one of the last stores around for such a small community. Now, if you would like to learn more about the historic, El the historic Elk store, and if you would like to donate to help restore it, we'll be sure to put a link to their GoFundMe account on our website, kcentv.com.